Shush, little one. Nothing to be done about it now. Get up. I can't. I'm too badly hurt. What are you afraid of? What? <sighs> are you the healer of Broomhead? Go on and stand up. I've closed your wound with my needle and thread, and if the stitches should tear and your blood come gushing out again, what danger there? Just take a step backward. You know you always can. Wait. You were in my dream. That is so. Now stand up. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I have nothing to repay you with. My orchid bud. You know well, my gifts are mine to give. I, Hela, I'm forever grateful. I'll remember this always. Those are words to speak under waning moons. Words for a swallow in autumn. But here we can have summer always. A full moon every night. Well, it's daytime now. I think I'm ready to step outside. How are you feeling? Not normal, but I'm all right. She managed to patch you up, despite that, that thing still in your chest. So, you're good to sail? Yeah, we, we can leave for Calabella? I... I don't know if we can even leave this place without her help. But we've got to warn them that the Northlanders are on the march. Uh, warn the Calavallans, I mean. It's only us. Nobody else survived to alert them. Ah, oh, yes. You're right. I'll talk to her. Kipuna, join me at my fire. I think we should go. I'm too grateful for words, but my protector's growing restless because we're in a hurry, and and I don't really know how long we've been here. Here on the hidden side, my blossom, time cannot grasp and strangle us as it will in the world outside, though it may pinch, and what grows here is concealed well. So this place is, um, safe? From cruel and stumbling men, yes. But my little home, too, is beset with trouble. What kind of trouble? Come, my spark. You'll get a chance to shine. Look at these little pieces of wood. Can you hear it? The flame. Hear a flame? Yes. The wood is dry as a bone. Inside all things there waits a little dark ember, the sweet marrow. If you let your own fire speak to it, it will come to life in glory. I don't know if I... Kippana, my blossom, don't dissemble. The Shard has given the secret flame to you, and you have learned in dreaming how to call it forth. It will be no strain to let it roar. Yes! You gave her a magic instrument that blasts fire? That's irresponsible. Quiet man when you see sorcery afoot. The fire just came out of me. Oh, wait, um, are we still in the dream world? No, Blossom, though we are far from the real world as well. The power is in you. The gift of the shard that I helped to bring to light in the dream. But uh, <laughs> she's just a girl. She hasn't been trained in magic, right, Kippener? She needs no training. Her power is the fruit of her fusion with the Shard. Now, quiet! But how did I do that? I've hung these wards on the trees to keep my little house unsullied by Razix. By what? What did she say? Razix. Spirits of despair and shadow from the Northland Myers. As their witch queen has extended her reach, they too have slunk abroad along the cracks in the world shell to places like my hideout here. Evil spirits? They can't be harmed by steel alone, but fire will burn them. You want me to go out there and burn these 
Razix. Yes. Their darkness and terror will help you open up and let your fire out. Look at that! What a scarecrow! That's one of them. A Razik. I'm afraid I almost started a forest fire. You did well. The shrubs and meadows here will grow back. They have all the time outside the world. Oh, I've never seen monsters like that before. I'm afraid there are a few more down the path that leads to my sauna. Well, I'll try not to burn that down. Don't hold back. If you make a mistake, just go back, as you now know how.
I doubt is free again of the Razik stain. I'm happy I could help. To begin, at least a little, to pay you back. That it was. You're ready now, Robin Redbreast, to fly. What do you mean? Can I fly too? I, I think she means that you know, we can go now, right? That is so. The kindly wind has blown your fireweed to my pier. And I've asked her to carry you away. Oh, let's, uh... Yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, thank you, Mom. Goodbye. 
I didn't expect to leave so soon. I mean, I have to, but it's sooner than I thought. You're mostly of the mortal world, and that's the way of it. You're ready when the time comes, and not when you thought you would be. But don't fret, my Blossom. Take my candle, and remember me by it. Thank you. Yes, I'm ready.